Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of your Ropey and Ourselves for Common Sense. I'm going to do an achievement run as Sweden. We're going to try to get the Sweden is not overpowered achievement. And we're also going to try to get the Land of the North achievement if I still feel like getting that achievement. Anyway, let's hop back. Oh, well, let's make this Iron Man first. Nice. And now let's hop into it. Okay. Uh, let's name this Sweden, shall we? Mr. Iron Man. Anyway, before we hop into the game, I do want to apologize for the the lack of videos on my channel recently. You know, I do love to play EU4 and like to upload content, but I wasn't able to play EU4 recently because I do find it hard to be able to play the game and record it. And when I play the game, I really want to record it and share it with you guys. So I just don't play EU4 in that time frame. I do apologize. Anyway, let's hop back into this game here. Okay. In a personal union with Denmark, we have 547 points. Happy with this configuration. We have no one supporting our independence yet. We make one ducat. Our trade, we make about 3.36 ducats from trade. Technology, standard. Our Swedish traditions, we have 25 mercenary. Maintenance reduction, infantry combat ability plus 20%. And we have Swedish ideas, we also get plus one leader shock. Very nice. We have a lot of these missions improve relations with Denmark, fuck that, improve our prestige, solidify our relations with the Papal State. I'm not about that life just yet. Um, hmm. Let's see here. We have a disaster, the Peasants' War. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that. And we have a promise to convert, which I'll probably start converting right away. Quite right away. Our overlord is Denmark and has no active subject interactions with us. Okay. Let me start to convert this province. This Liptoland, we only get one base tax from it, so I don't mind increasing autonomy. Also, our force summit is 11. We have basically seven infantry, so let's build another infantry and then two cavalry. Okay, good. Also, since I have what's my liberty desire, I have 84% liberty desire. So, I think it's time for me to find people to support my independence. I probably have to improve relations with people first, but um, gotta look for people that are willing to support my independence, that are strong enough and close enough uh, to help me. So let me improve relations with Poland. Um, hmm. You hate me because you're a cunt. But anyway, let's see. Hmm. Austria, maybe, hopefully, and maybe the Muscovy. I'm not gonna do anything other than that because I mean, it's not like I get, could get alliances. I really have to wait to improve relations to get people to support my independence, and then I'll declare war on Denmark. Okay, bring this army over here, protect trade in the Baltic. We have a merchant in the Baltic collected trade and one transferring trade, which I am happy with. Okay, so on pause, bring it up to speed three. And hopefully we can get people to support our independence. I wonder who this guy is gonna ally though. Hmm, I hate this motherfucker. And I really don't want my liberty to desire to take down because I want to become independent, of course. So, we have several cores on Denmark, we have one, two, three, four, and we have a core on Norway, so our first war should be to obtain those cores off the bat, immediately, immediately. Who allied Denmark? No one as of yet. Uh, I don't know, I lose a prestige. You have negative 10 prestige, so if you died at this point, the union would break, but you're only 28, so that doesn't matter. Which kinda sucks, but hey, what can you do? 
Oh, wait. What just happened? Only see 3,000 of his troops. He has 18 boats. But. He is, he is just annihilated. What the fuck is that there for? Um, so that has to be a bug. Hmm. Okay, there you go. It's gone. Um, armies. Denmark. He only has 6,000 troops. So this is his entire army. Okay, I'm happy with that. Hmm. Should have declared independence now. No one is willing to support my independence just yet. I need to look for people that are rival with Denmark. So Lithuania, Burgundy. Negative thousand cannot reach Denmark. He's willing. Okay. I'm gonna get England to support my independence and then probably declare the war. Because he has very low troop numbers. Lithuania on my side. Yes. England on my side. Yes. Okay, I have to declare this war before Poland can form a union over Lithuania. Nice. Okay, anyone else want to? Nope. You don't want to. I cannot get Burgundy to join because he can't reach us, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Who has you rivaled badly? Scotland. He's not one that's enjoying. He's close, though. Hmm. England should be good enough. And uh, then I'll declare my war of independence on Denmark. Okay, good. Everyone is willing to join. Defend the capital. Declare. Let's go. We have ended our union. We have lost a stability. We have a 045 on our throne. England's inter-military alliance, Lithuania has entered a military alliance. I need to boost back stability, but we can always do that soon. Okay. We need to take out Norway immediately. So I need, like... Oh, do not have enough money for that. I'm gonna have to raise war taxes just in case I don't want to have the low on money. That didn't help a lot, but... Okay, is good enough. Let's get our army to group up. Nice. Have this army go up north. You need a leader, so let's hire a leader. Let's move you out west to engage Norway's army. I really want to get this fort so I don't have to wait to siege it down. Please get there in time. Okay, nice. Destroyed his army. Let's move you up north to get there the fourth, you get there the second. Hopefully England is coming with his navy to blockade this strait, which would be very nice. Very nice. Okay, declared independence basically day two. Send this army over here. Okay, how many troops do I need to siege this province with? Maximum garrison. I wish it told me somewhere here. Mm. Really, you're not going to tell me. Come on. Okay. It should tell me now. I need nine regiments. Okay, show army. Let's do like that. Nope. Close. Combine back up. I just need two of you to be gone, and that should be good enough. Send this army back out east. Denmark has an army of 13,000 right here, which kind of sucks, but what can I do, really? Okay, good. He's moving his army up north. Fuck. Okay, England has dropped an army off, which is nice. Okay, and I'm glad these forts are protecting me because he has to siege these down, which are nice. Which is nice. Okay, let's have my one infantry go around and siege some stuff. I also need to boost stability back up so I'm not at negative one stability, which kind of sucks, but you know. Is he going to engage? Are you serious, England? Don't engage that, please. Lithuania. 
can you please come help me? Like, bruh. Okay. This guy's gonna siege that, I guess. Let me send this, break this in half. I don't think cavalry can siege provinces, but I'm gonna try anyway because YOLO. Uh, but oh well, we will see. Fuck. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. Uh, can, when can I? Oh, it looks like I'm gonna win. So we should be fine. For fuck's sake. Of course, he recruits infantry just quick enough so that my cavalry will be in trouble. Fucking awesome. He has 17,000 troops there. That is gonna suck. Let's go there, capture that. Of course, I lost. Not fucking surprising. No shit, Sherlock, is what I should say. But take that alone so I can create some infantry. There you go. Nice. Okay, come on now. Just put this on speed for us so shit moves a bit quicker. Or stuff moves a bit quicker. England has a 2-4 there, so I probably should get ready just in case he gets engaged in to reinforce. Bring this army across the strait. Oh, nope, don't do that. Fuck. I want to go around so my troops don't get caught on this island just in case. Okay. Took out alone, not surprising. Boost stability, good. Okay, you're a cunt for taking that back, but nothing I can really. Well, did he take any? Oh no, he didn't. Okay, let me bring my army back down south. Don't walk through that province, please. Thank you. Oh my god, he sieged that uh, really quickly. No siege ability either. I have siege ability, and I'm still sieging this province. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Okay. Armies, gather up please, a bit quicker. I really want to win this war. Hopefully we can, but I'm not sure if we uh, will be able to. Bring the army down south. Muscovy declared war on Novgorod. Typical. Come on, siege this please. Yes, okay. Bring the army down so we can help the English. Oh, well, they lost progress. They probably moved their navy out of the province, which kind of sucks for them. Command this army up. You are a bit of a dick, so I'm going to go up there and take care of you. Oh, hmm. Hmm. This is going to be bad. Shit. Of course, as soon as I move my army out of the way. Okay, fuck. He has a. Fuck, his army got stacked white. He's a 2 2. I have a 1 1. Let's hope for the best. We are losing. We're getting our ass kicked. Oh, nope. We're gonna win this battle. Thank Christ. Holy shit, that was lucky. Holy shit, that was lucky. Now I need the English Navy or Army. Yes, go siege that. Perfect. Stay there, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. The English never surprised me. Um, let me split off two infantry. Send you there. Two infantry. Send you there. That battle was horrible for us. We lost a lot of troops, but should be fine. Sorry that I'm playing kind of noobish. It's been a while since I played some EU4, but uh, we should be fine. Hopefully, I'm not making mistakes. I'm not even looking at terrain. Oh, yeah, I've been fucking making mistakes left and right. Yes, England, take these battles. Kick their ass. Thank you very much. Okay. That siege has been got. 
Very nice. And this army. Now, whoops. Oh no, you're already going that, that way. Okay, you dispatch a siege, you move forward. I guess you're gonna just siege that for me. He has four, seven thousand troops here. Hmm. He's recovering quickly. We're taking out loans, which kind of sucks, but uh... Oh gosh. Why is this increasing so much? Attrition. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Hmm. And I'm losing too much money. Let's hopefully just win this war and be happy. Okay, bring the infantry back over here. Bring this army up north, siege that down. Okay. Well, my fridge just kicked the fuck into gear, so now you're gonna hear that in the background. There's nothing I can really do about it, but oh well. Bring this army down south. I don't know why the English is not keeping their navy in this shrake. Kinda makes me angry, but nothing I can do about it. Want this army to sit and spawn. Let's raise war taxes again. We are losing tons and tons of money because of reinforcements and that type of thing. Let's send this army over here. Oh gosh, that fucking background noise is really gonna piss me off. Or the noise that the fridge is making is going to piss me off. I do apologize. I've been apologizing a lot today. Um, 0.5 interest. Hopefully the reinforcement uh, cost goes away and I don't have to worry so much about my income. Send this army there, send the army over there, and then we should be good. I also am going to want to drop troops off here, aren't I? So I can siege this down. Hmm. Siege that. Siege that. Okay, let's get to siege in this quickly. Hopefully we don't lose too much money and too much manpower. Hopefully. Um, okay, all of Norway is sieged. Really? Denmark. I want that. Oh, I were, okay, I need to declare that I want independence. Grant independence only 22. I like this. Like this, this, and this. How is this 32? Like, I'm just getting my cores. Fuck off. That's bullshit, but I'm gonna try to get my cores. Of course. What the fuck is Lithuania doing? Lithuania. Bruh. Send a proper army. Not no makeshift type shit, please. But anyway, you're. you're your effort is appreciated. Okay. So I only have three loans going on to four loans, which isn't that bad. We have very low legitimacy though, so hmm, that's gonna suck for quite a few years. But we're gonna become independent, so that doesn't matter that much. In my humble opinion, of course. Um Muscovy is gonna be interesting. I have to deal with Muscovy at some point. A England doing the work. Nice. Okay, can we siege this please? Also, do I have a core on this province? No, I don't, so I'm not gonna take it. Anyway, you just get my sieges in. It really sucks that I'm not gonna be able to get this province. Okay. Um I could get everything but that province. Which really sucks because I would like this, but I can't get it. It is my core, so I don't... Mm. It's my core, I should be able to... I'm pretty sure I can't take it because also rebels are occupying it. That probably is the reason I fucking... I just want to take it. I just want to take the province. It's not going to allow me. Okay, he's moving his navy. Let me. I have five transports. Actually, let me do that. 
get all the infantry. Let me just use mercs and not my infantry or my military units. Send you up north to Stockholm. We have a 636 as an heir to the throne. That shit is beautiful. Okay, he's going to the West Baltic again, so that kind of fucking sucks. I'm send this army up here. Okay, he's going still. Board. Oh. Transport. Watch out for his navies, his, his navies, his armies, and everything. Hopefully this is enough to siege this province. Not this province, this province. Ooh, is it enough? Come on, land. Land, holy shit. Okay, it's not enough. I need six infantry. So, let's get another infantry from here. Send you up north. This should be good. Okay, looks like Denmark is losing this battle, but should be fine. Poland loves me. Thank you. Oh, because I improved relations with him forever. You like me too. Hmm, okay. Interesting. You can go on the boat too and be dropped off, please. Recall the guy from Poland. Prove relations with Teutonic Order. But with that, that's going to be the end of this episode of Europa Universalis World. Common Sense. Sweden. I don't know what to call this. Sweden OP, I'll probably call it. Um, sorry for the new mistakes at the beginning. Like I said, it's been a while since I played some EU4. I'm glad that I'm getting back into it. I do apologize again. Thanks for watching this episode of European Universalis 4. Common Sense, Sweden OP. See you guys in the next episode.